Okay, how it's Dennis on um, Friday morning reviewing your lesson of uh, Thursday, the 5th of uh, December, your fourth in this particular series. And um, <clears throat> the only thing I added was that as you go back, as you start back, uh, we want to feel, we call it fanning the club open a little bit, rolling the forearms instead of keeping it there. Um, what that'll tend to do is get the club a little deeper for you. And so you have that second part of your backswing as a pickup. It's okay to there, but if the arms, if you were supinating that right hand and right palm, you could get it more around you, which is always what we're striving to do with your swing. Get it less, you know, less steep and uh, a little more on the, a better incline, you know, or what they call plane. This is better than it was, much less steep than it was. As far as the through part is concerned, you have to continue to work. This is getting better. But you have to continue to work left, left, left. That's why closed is a bad setup for you. Cause, because you get stuck, what we call, on the inside too much. And you really want to get your arms, body, and club thinking down and left, down and left coming through the golf ball. When you drift off to the right, it makes opening your hips through the ball much more difficult. And if you don't have some rotation of the left side, the left shoulder stays very low and you get those fat shots. So turning the body through is going to be a big, big help for you once you get on this flatter plane. But I do like the fact that we had a lot of success. The, the little fan opener, it'll feel like fanning it to you, which it actually isn't because you get it closed. It'll feel like you're opening the club and you're getting flatter with your swing, both of which are going to help us get a little more loft and get on that little more inclined plane that we want. Uh, that's why I do that. So we call it fanning or rolling to start. It helps your turn. It helps get some loft on the club and it gets your swing plane a little flatter. The whole deal about your backswing is to not get that second part right there lifted up. Just keep it going this way on the plane that we want it on. Hopefully that rolling of that hand. Think of your right palm facing more at the sky. And then uh, as you come down, don't wait to lift that right foot. Start lifting it now. Start getting that hip out of the road. See, at this point here, we should be seeing one knee. This camera is positioned pretty well. So when you can see two knees from here, it means you haven't rotated your hips through enough. If you don't rotate your hips, you have to lose your posture to avoid fat. And um, that's what you do sometimes. But much, much improved. A lot of good, solid, way more solid shots than we've ever had before. So... Keep up the good work.